Hi there. Uh, this video has been recorded because the TradingView um, charting tool for the CTrader trading platform has been updated slightly. So I'm just going to go through the new controls and just to show you um, how to end, uh, add a single trade. Now, the reason we've done this is uh, um, the video that we did previously didn't actually give you all the kind of features you needed to have a play with it to see if it's a tool that you'd like to use. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and start and open it up. So I'll just go under here and type in Train view to find the product. And I'm going to start it. I think it's that one. Yeah. So you'll just get a little pop up window like this. Click continue. So, what we've done here, the markets are closed. It's a Saturday now. But what I would like to do is just to show you um, some of the controls that we've just put on it and how you would use that for your trading on a chart. So, it'll give you some idea of, of uh, how, it, how it would all work together. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is expand the view. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the volume at the bottom just by clicking on it, and deleting it. I'm going to add a couple of indicators. So I'm going to add the MACD. And I'm going to add a Bollinger Band. And the reason for this is just to give some uh, using the indicators that are on this chart and package just for entry entry signals. OK, so I'm going, going down to the one hour time frame. As you see on the one hour time frame, the instrument here is pretty much oversold. So if you were to use this and say, OK, um, I'm using these indicators and this is um, pretty much oversold for the euro dollar. Um, so what you want to do then is add your risk risk reward. Um, so we're going to put in the risk reward tool, which is built into this platform. So, for example, if I was to enter a trade just here. I'm going to put it just there. No, I'm going to put it back over here, move the chart across. so I've got more room. OK, and then I want to set my target to be, say, where this structure is here, not all the way up. And I just want to go below the Bollinger Band bottom there, OK, for my risk reward. So we've got a good risk reward ratio. Now, what you need to do now is is work out what your um, obviously on here. It doesn't tell you what your account balance is. So you can use our trading widgets if you want, or you can just open up C Trader again or view it to have a look. And it will tell you what your account balance is because you'll need that because I'll tell you why. Because if I drag this across now, <clears throat> so the account balance here is $456. So you need to go under settings and you need to set it in an account size, 456. Again, there are limitations because this is only showing euro dollar and there's certain things you can't use it for. So this is more for demo purposes. So when you're using this tool, it's definitely only for dem demonstration purposes. You can only open up a single position at any time. Now here it's got the risk and reward is 1%. And it's got the entry price. OK, so I click over there, click OK. Now that would give me my target, how much I would win if I entered a trade here, 46 pounds. My total amount would be 468. My uh, risk is 16 pounds, sorry, dollars on this account. And the count balance would drop down to 451. So I've set up my risk reward ratio. I've got the um, the indicators showing my entry, my entry signal when I'm going to enter a trade. And all you do then. Um, obviously it's click buy and when you click buy it will actually open up a position you just sit in this chart watch it and you have to manually close it when it reaches that you can't set your stop loss or take profits again there's some limitations to this um, and that's just a rough idea how to use trading view charting um, which has got you know different features in the C trader trade charting um, with this little tool and it will actually submit the order direct to your broker in this case it's FX Pro so this was launched from C Trader so you're still in the C Trader environment we are just using a slightly different charting package just want to go through some of the controls at the top so you've got your lot size which is easy you've got buy and sell once you click buy you can open a sell you can, you have, can only have one position it will show you the entry price here just in case you want to draw a horizontal line because it what it doesn't do as part of the limitation it won't actually put the position onto the chart because this is just a quick like example of how to use it. Now this product here, what we're doing is for free of charge, you can use it. Um, it's just, again, it's only to find out if it's a tool that you find useful, um, if it was a standalone product, okay? Um, so you've got to vote this idea. If you click vote this idea, it'll actually open up a, uh, it goes to C Trader and it goes to suggestions page. So you just type in, um, you know, you want to vote for this idea. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. You've got closed position, and then it tells you what your PIPs is, whether it's minus. Here it's got minus 0.8 PIPs. Your net profit, so it's four pounds, uh, sorry, four dollars fifty-seven pence. So, cents, sorry. And then you've got spread. So this value is the spread, and the green value is the volatility. Then you've got your broker symbol, which is going to be slightly different from the uh, trading view uh, symbol price, only by something like 0.0001 um, points. So it's not massively different. And again, if you change the theme, you can change it to light or dark. If you do change the theme, it will wipe out all your controls, um, but it will show you a dark theme. So it's best to set your theme before you start. So there are limitations. 
Um, I hope that we've now put enough controls on here to allow you to actually um, play around with it, do a little bit of trading without having the CTrader platform open. But in the background, your orders will go through CTrader to the broker. Um, there you go. That's it. Uh, again, if you uh, this, these charts are powered by TradingView. You've got a link down there. You can find out more about them. All right. Thank you very much.